What's up, everybody? It's Draymond Green. Make sure you subscribe to the Volumes YouTube channel below so you don't miss any more of this great content going forward. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Draymond Green Show. Special one. This is an emergency pod. It is 6.15 p.m. Live from my hotel room in beautiful Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, Dubs just got a win, and I know that's why everyone is here, because y'all are looking for my breakdown on the game and what I saw, right? No. You're here to listen. You want to hear my thoughts and my take on the infamous Draymond Green ejection from game one of round two. And to be honest with you, I think my take on it may be a little different than your take or not. But there will be, for all of our listeners, our, our great listeners who's been tuned in all year, incredible supporters who we appreciate. There will still be the Draymond Green show where we really discuss game one of the Dubs versus the Grizzlies, where we really dive into game one of the Celtics versus the Bucks, and the Bucks are up 1-0. We'll also talk about my projections and what I think of the other series, which is the Phoenix Suns versus the Dallas Mavericks, and which is Miami Heat versus the Philadelphia 76ers. But before we go to that later in the week. Let's talk about the ejection and my take on it. Let's get into it. Amazing win. Um, I think tonight our guys show that we, you know, we're, we're battle tested. You know, we've been through the ringer. We've been through the ups and downs. We know how it feels to win. We know how it feels to lose. And guys stuck with it. Uh, no matter how the night was going, n not much went our way, but guys stuck with it. Now let's, now let's, really talk about what everyone's here for what you know what everyone wants to talk about which is me getting ejected for <clears throat> I'm not quite sure for what but um for a foul um very interesting one you know you know one thing about that foul is I actually tried to hold him up and I was well, I wasn't told anything because I left the court, but guys were told I was I was ejected for throwing him down, which was very interesting because I mean, even once he hit the ground, I still was holding his jersey up. But <clears throat> I mean, at this point, I kind of expect things like that. Like I've been suspended from game five of the NBA finals. Do you do you think I for one second, don't believe I would get kicked out of game one of the second round. Not surprising to me at all. Not, not, not one bit. So, you know, when, when they reviewed the file for as long as they reviewed it, I said to myself, I said, hmm, I wonder what could they be deciding that's possibly going to take this long? I'm actually dumb enough to think I wasn't going to get a flagrant one. Talk about an idiot. You want to call anybody an idiot? Look no further than Draymond Green himself. Because I was, I mean, I was literally sitting there like, you know what's crazy? As I was about to start dancing to the crowd saying, kick him out, kick him out, to taunt them because it's like, kick him out for that? So I was about to start dancing. And <clears throat> when I was literally starting to edge up off the scores table, something said to me, but it's you involved in this play, Draymond. <laughs> so because it's you involved in this play, you probably shouldn't dance because you probably should always expect the unexpected. And so the little birdie that sits on my shoulder nowadays told me, hmm, just wait a second. Don't get up and dance and make fun of them. Because if you get up and dance and make fun of them, sure enough, it, you're then not expecting the unexpected. And if you're not expecting the unexpected, very soon they'll probably be able to make fun of you. And so I sat there. And then the official turned. He had a hard time telling. He said, and it's going to be a flagrant and like, Long pause, like pause, two. He didn't even want to say it was going to be a flagrant two, which was very interesting to me because, again, I am dumb enough to think 
that it would not even be a flagrant one that, you know, the, the playoffs are a little tougher and not as soft as the regular season, you know, and that, um, <clears throat> you know, you can, you can bump a little more and you get away with a little more, you know, like, but, you know, we've seen questionable calls in the first, first round, some things that didn't get reviewed. And, um, yeah, I guess it, you know, I, sometimes I guess it's just a case by case thing. It's, you know, it's a reputation thing. I think tonight, uh, was probably a reputation, a reputation thing more so than, um, a hard foul, you know, now <clears throat> my biggest worry moving forward is that gives me two flagrant foul points. And as we know, I've been ejected for f accumulation of flagrant foul points. So my hope is that the right thing will happen and that it'll at least get rescinded to a flagrant one because a flagrant two, I mean, unnecessary contact. I can't quite say it was unnecessary because I was trying to stop him from making a bucket and getting an and one. So I can't quite say it was unnecessary. Excessive. I didn't even really make contact with the guy's body, so excessive would be a bit extreme. If a guy is flying off of one leg, then maybe you say, all right, he was in an unsafe position and, you know, he couldn't protect himself. Flagrant two. A guy jumping off two feet straight up and down who then sells a foul and dive to the floor. Can't quite say he was in an unsafe position. So I guess my, me trying to explain this, this flagrant foul to you, your guess is just as good as mine. Because by definition, if we go through the definition of a flagrant two foul, I'm not sure that that play would quite be the definition of a flagrant foul. I'm not sure it would meet that criteria. So, in this one, you know, I, I always say, you know, so many people talk about basketball and they don't really know basketball. And, you know, I, like, I study basketball daily for hours and hours and hours and Joe Blow thinks he knows basketball as good as me because he watches NBA games. You know, I always speak on that. Well, here I must tell you that me and you and whoever else are all on a level playing field here, which means you don't know and I don't know. And we're going to keep it that way because even the explanation I got, I still don't understand it. So I think in this one situation, our IQs, our understanding, they're all on a level playing field. We're right in the same spot. Maybe someone can hashtag the Draymond Green show for our mailbag part of this week's show because, oh, don't get it twisted. This is just an emergency pod because the streets want to hear about the ejection. The streets want to hear how the dubs end up still pulling it off. So this is just an emergency pod for all the, for all of the Draymond Green Show listeners, um, the, the ones who supported us all year, who we greatly appreciate. We don't take that for granted at all. This is just an emergency pod for you to hear my side of things, which is kind of like your side of things. You're confused, I'm confused, and that's just that. Now, what I will say is kudos to my brothers, my brothers, for going out and no matter what, still getting the job done against all odds, um, you know, against whoever else was against us. That's for you to decide. They got it done. We got it done. And it was such a beautiful thing to see Jordan Poole go out have a huge game. Steph Curry come out in the second half and go lights out. And Klay Thompson to be shooting miserably after sitting the entire first half pretty much. And then hit the big one because that's what Klay Thompson does. And, you know, I was sitting in the back in the locker room. And before he caught the ball, when they swung it to him, I said, and here's the one. Here's the one right here. Because that's what Klay Thompson does. Klay Thompson make, makes big shots. We've seen that play over and over again where Klay Thompson catches that and he knocks it down right on the wing, kind of the wing slot area. We've seen that over and over again. Now, what I do have to talk to Klay Thompson about is these missed free throws. 
Um, I also need to talk to Steph Curry about these missed free throws. Like, what's going on with, with my guys? They don't, they don't miss free throws. And, you know, Clay missed two. But in typical Clay fashion and being the biggest competitor that I've ever stepped on the basketball court with, including myself, um, in typical Clay fashion, what did he do? He goes and get the stop, and we go on home. Wigs with a big box out so they didn't get a, a, a quick put back, a quick tip in. I mean, God stepped up to the plate, and it was such a beautiful thing to see. But back to what you're here for, which is the, the foul. I'm not so sure I want, I want to refer to it as a flagrant foul because I'm not sure it really meets the criteria for a flagrant foul. And if it does meet the criteria for a flagrant foul, I definitely can't call it a flagrant two. I, I just can't do that. I mean, I've seen flagrant twos, and um, I mean, even you know, even even with my reputation, like I, I don't, I don't knock the fact that I have a reputation in this league, and and that I will get the benefit of the doubt the opposite way. I, I don't, I don't knock that one bit. I understand that. The last thing I am is an idiot that doesn't understand that. Like, and so I understand that, but I'm not even sure by my standards that I have to live up to on a basketball court. I'm not even sure I can re refer to it as a flagrant two, even if I'm going to say, but you're Draymond. And it's a little different. I, I can't say that, that I'm, I'm going to refer to it as a flagrant two. And now, again, reputations are earned. I love my reputation. It's gotten me where I am. It's gotten me three NBA championships. It's gotten me a Defensive Player of the Year award. It's gotten me four All-Stars. It has made me who I am in the NBA, coming from a 35th pick who, should, who they said would never play a day in the NBA. Here I am in year 10, still sitting here in front of you, um, still playing, and you you watch me on your TV screen in your living room. You come to games, you watch me. So I appreciate my reputation. I'm not one to shy away from it. I know what it is, and that reputation is hard to earn, you know? And I saw Dennis Rodman get ejected for fouls that probably um, Luke Longley wouldn't have got ejected for. You know, I, I, I've i seen that. And so I've seen Rasheed Wallace get ejected for things that – um. Corliss Williamson wouldn't have got ejected for. Like, you know, I've seen stuff like that over and over again. But I am, I am an NBA um, fan. I am a basketball fan. So I've watched basketball and been a fan since I was a kid. So I remember seeing those guys get ejected for things that maybe another guy wouldn't have gotten ejected for. And the reality is they earned that reputation. But guess what? To me, that's a that that's a, that's a badge of honor. Like I don't. I, I earn my reputation. I appreciate my reputation. I'm never going to shy away from it. And most importantly, I am never going to stop being Draymond Green. Now, what I will say is I'm looking forward to – see, earlier I said I will say I hope it gets uh, rescinded. Now I'm going to say I'm looking forward to it getting rescinded. And that's your emergency Draymond Green show live from my hotel room in Memphis. It's a wrap. I'll see you guys later this week. Until then, peace.